Well, we're continuing to follow the arrest of the owners of Coles Towing and one of the company's employees over the weekend. These arrests came after the sheriff's office said that the men maced a crowd and towed a car when they were prohibited from being on that property. Uh, we want to turn into our Brianna Smith. She's been on this story and she's joining us live at the sheriff's office tonight with the very latest on what really, Brianna, is a strange case. Yeah, Amy, not only strange, but complicated. And uh, I want to let you know that we actually have a contract that we were given by the apartment complex, and they're saying that this contract is the biggest issue between whether Coles Towing was allowed to be there or not. As you drive into Timberlake Apartments, a bright sign has a clear message. Coles Towing, you're not welcome. The towing company in the apartment complex signed this contract in November, stating Cole and his employees would tow for any number of reasons. During that time, they picked up at least 28 cars. I didn't get a reason why they were towing my car, so I don't get why they were towing my car. In March, the apartment complex says they sent Cole this letter telling him the contract was void as the person who entered into it didn't have the authority to do so. Cole says he's never seen that letter but received this 180-day notice, meaning he could continue to tow cars out of the complex for now. Which led to this incident on Saturday. Cole says when he spotted a car with an expired tag, he started to tow it. When a large crowd gathered, he called for backup and his employee fired off mates. Now they both have mugshots fighting for their side of the story. I can tell you that they're going to plead not guilty. We're going to fully investigate the matter, and they both look forward to their day in court. You've probably heard Cole's towing name before. That's because of the plethora of phone calls we've received about his towing practices. His business license was revoked from Welford last year. It was also suspended in the city of Spartanburg. This year it was just reinstated at the beginning of June. We're live in Spartanburg County for you tonight. Brianna Smith, 7 News. Gosh, so many questions, Brianna. All right. Talk about towing in general, okay? If you're if you're an apartment complex, you have a towing contract. Is it up to the towing companies to just decide that you're doing something wrong, like notice your expired tag and take your car? Is that how that's supposed to work? Yeah, and that's exactly how the situation started on Saturday night, Amy, when the uh, Coles towing is the only contract I'm familiar with in this case, and they actually entered into it with the apartment complex, which gives the towing company the right to go through and make sure they're looking at things that people don't want in their parking lots, like uh, broken cars, expired tags, uh, to wheels that are off of your car and they go around and look for that and then tow you and that's what they were doing on Saturday night and they say that that contract they thought was still valid. All right, well there's more to come on this one. Brianna Smith on the story tonight live for us. Thanks Brianna.